Hello people, how are ya? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. Welcome back to Angling Anxiety, everyone. Today, I'm off beach fishing. Um, I'm going down to Hive. I'm going to be testing a multiplier that I've never used before. I've casted it over the field twice. Uh, well, I've casted it over the field. I've been over there twice casting. Um, the first time, the first, time, first two times I blew it up, which is expected, I think. Um, and then the, sec the second time, I half got a hang of it. Um, I can't track it very far, to be honest with you. Excuse the camera quality for this first bit. My vehicle is very steamy. It's very cold. It's half past three in the morning and I'm off. But yeah, we get down the beach, we get set up, and then I just try, try and get some fish. Anything will do, I mean anything. It's been so long since I beach fish, so I'm excited, but I'm nervous as well. But I'm gonna go and pick my friend up, Wes. Um, Wes seems to know what he's up to around the beach fishing, so fingers crossed, let's get ourselves down there. All right, we're here. We are at Hive Beach. Can't see a lot. Looks to be pretty flat. The water's not massively dirty from what I can see. Um, but this fills all the way up. You can see how high it is up there. That's how where the water goes through. It's a really deep beach. Um, I like fishing down here. It's quite cool. I've got my gear over here. My new beach gear. So yeah, today's task, I've got the Pen Battle 3 7003. Pen Battle 3 7000 long cast versus the Mag 525 Mag 3 pen. Um, first time using a multiplier fishing. I went to buy an IMAX beach shelt yesterday. Turned out and the geezer told me it was TF gear. I drove an hour to get there, so I felt quite sorry for the man, so I bought it anyway. Got a new seat box. This, this is going to come in super handy today. I'm going to get this set up so I can actually talk to the camera without having to hold it up to me. Um, got some new leads, some new leaders, some new rigs. Again, Jason King's rigs, JS, sea fishing rigs, brilliant rigs. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get my rod set up, I'm going to get casted out, I'm going to have a go, and then uh, I will be back with you in a second. Right, that's my first bait set up. That's a sand hill wrapped in squid on a panel. Um, this one's going on the fixed ball reel and a Daiwa sea, sea Hunter. Um, as you'll know, I know how to catch a shark or two. I'm good at freshwater fishing. I'm still learning massively with beach fishing, so if you're learning, you're learning with me. Um, but yeah, Wes is here now just getting set up. Just gonna ping us out and see what happens, really. Right, that's my second bait done. Going into the pulley dropper as well. Some lovely healthy rag. Yeah, just put a little pen up at the top as well, just in case. It's quite a long bait. Just get it out there and hope for the best. It's probably going on the multiplier, so this won't be going that far, that's for sure. When it light brightens up a bit and there's a bit of daylight, I'll show you how I'm casting and how I shouldn't be casting, but <laughs> yeah, let's get it out there. Right, the rods are set up, but we can just about see the tips. Got my beach shelter here. All lovely. Definitely just had a knock, but I don't know what one it was on. Sort of weren't looking at it, and then I turned around and they were nodding away. This multiplier one's so close in, it's unbelievable. So yeah. Here is the battle. Oh, it's not the battle, that's a battle, but here is a battle between the two. <laughs> so there we are. Am I going to get another knock, is the question. I'm going to reel down a little bit on this one here. Let's see if it was that one. Might have a bit of a slack liner. I mean, this one here is so close in, it's unbelievable. I'd be very surprised, but... Never know, there you go, look, that was on the right, no, that was on the right rod, wasn't it? See it, knocking? Right, I'm on that. 
fish on people, fish on little conger. Happy days man. Oh they're so slippery these little things, you need some newspaper really. But yeah that was on the fish bait, so happy chappy. I would show you my face how, how much I'm smiling, but yeah, one nil to the bait caster. Uh, bait caster, you know what I mean, fixed ball. One nil. Um, good solid bite on that, I tell you. Yeah, happy days man, there's the old squid and sand hill bait. Let's get back out there and try and get ourselves another one. Oh no, hooks. Gonna get them released him. What I do like to try and do is stay away from the water's edge if I can because of the lot, because that rod's out there and that could get spooked, but off he goes. Happy days man. Yeah, cool stuff. Sweet as a nut. Let's get back out there. Well I'm in my little beach shower. One conga down, and I'm loving life. <laughs> Simple fishing, mate. No stress of towing. Just out here having a good time. Quite happy now. I could go home and just catch that one conga and I'm a fish. I caught a fish during the day. The tide's coming in quite rapidly, but uh, yeah, we'll move back soon. Living the dream, mate. Where's it into a fish? Because he got a ray. Get up with that lovely pond back. Fish D. Oh. Happy days, Wes, Happy brother. Days, <laughs> Happy days. Happy days, man. So, so what was that on fish bait? Oh, rag. Rag. No, wait, try not now, minute, Pip. Go on, mate. Happy day. One on the ray. Happy day, just getting back. Off he goes. Flapping the back. Push D. On to the next one. We hope. <laughs> Love it. That was lovely people, wasn't it? Nice little form back. I love a ray, I do. People call them fat dogfish, but for me, they're quite cool animals, man. I really like them. Just chuck the multi back out again. No bird's nest. Happy days. Not getting very far with it, but can't win it all, can you? Practice makes perfect at the end of the day. Loving it, man, really am. Well done, Wes. Struggling over here with no light. I don't like shining my light, like I said a minute ago. I don't like shining it on the water because where my bait's not that far out, it could be a deterrent for uh, sort of the, the bass that are in the surf and stuff. But, but yeah, I'm just uh, gonna have to move back up soon because the tide's coming in. But most importantly, I'm really enjoying myself. Just a one conga for me so far, but. If I went home and that was all I caught, I'd still be happy. Seen Wes catch a ray, me have a conga. Happy days, but we'll see what it brings. Had a little move. Wes is still down there. Just about to see him. The sunrise is just starting to come up over there. As you can see. But yeah, I've moved it right back. Should It will need moving in about an hour or two. But at the minute it's right. I'm pretty sure I just had a knock on that white rod, so I'm going to go and check it. Nothing on the right rod, but just so you see, another couple of pricks, squids and sand hill reps. So when I come up, when one comes off, another one can go in. Straight on the money. There we go. Kitchen life, I'm in the kitchen. Just to keep your wife happy, eh? Yeah, it looks like my left rod might be tackled away, so I'm just going to go and check on it.
baits beneath them. Let's get this set back up. One ragworm bait, let him go back out. Three knife ragworm on it. Now you're going to get to see me try and cast that bloody multiply. It should be fun. The old sun is up. Well, it's not up, it's coming up. No Mackie for Wes. The birds are working over there, so you can't really see it, but there's a few, there's like some patches where you can see the bubbling from the Mackie. All the birds are heading over there now. Still loving life. Only the one conga, but still loving. I'm fishing big baits, Wes is fishing tiny little rag baits. But Wes has had a, a, ray, so a ray on that tiny little bait, so just shows you, isn't it? Got a little beach set up, loving it. Might even be able to see me now, hang on. Hey! <laughs> you can see me. Look a bit rough, did I, to be honest with you? That's what fishing's all about, man. Loving it. I didn't see my smile on my face when I caught that congo. It was only three pounds or something, but I still loved it. It's uh, rewarding, do you know what I mean? Change rigs to what I usually fish on the beach. Um, I've literally fished on the beach a handful of time, so every day's always learning, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Fingers crossed. We could get a few more. See what we just picked up there. I've had to rescue my beach shelter a couple of times. Right in your face, southerly wind on a sad coast, uh, yeah, southerly, right in your face. Um, yeah, getting a, getting a little bit blowy. So I've managed to pull the stones around here doing that, so hopefully it stays alright. Might switch over to a two at flapper soon. Get a scratching rig out there as they call it. As you can hear people, the wind has picked up massively. Just reeled in my uh, up and over and it hadn't detached itself, so the snood was still attached. I've lost my uh, beach shelter. Hey! <laughs> Look at it. It's going to fly off in a minute and end up Dover. Won't catch me in Dover anytime soon, I tell you. But yeah, the wind is literally boom in your face. So it's uh, challenging to say the least, but another couple of hours we'll see it out, see if we can get anything else. If we can't, oh well, it is what it is. I'm going to get back out tomorrow, providing I can get some diesel. Where's this going for an almighty cast? Better than me, that's for sure. Have a look at this prime bait, people. It's absolutely lovely, man. I went all the way to Gray to pick it up, which for me is a long way. And I paid 21 quid, and I've used more than what I've got left. Unbelievable, man. Like, these are absolute monsters. Look at that for a rag, look. Proper rag. No farm. They're not farmed either. Do you know what I mean? They're not that horrible green stuff that comes out of them, which you get in a lot of tackle shops. 
or blade, a blade with juices, which is exactly what you want. I individually wrap them. Um, I've just got all that now. She's windy out here. The wind has massively picked up, guys. But I tell you what, I've just chucked out the best cast I've ever done with a motor car, and I mean the best cast I've ever done with a fixed ball or a motor car. So I'm swaying towards the motor car side at the end of this session. I really am. Chucked it out. Got squid rag sand here, all in one wrap. Proper stinky bait. Water's going to be coloured. I'm thinking they're going to be going off pure smell because they're not going to be able to see a lot out there. And uh, yeah, it and I've been as always, but it's been quiet for a little while. Sunrise is gone. See, it's right up here. You remember we was, we was fishing originally down here? It's a really deep beach, but I'm really hoping that slab's over. I'd be so happy to get one on that rod. I really would. Uh, make my bloody ear. I love fishing, I really do. This is what Angler and Anxiety is about, man. Right? Hey, love it. Right, I'm going to reel in my multiply rod and I'm going to recast it. And you can bet your pot looks. I'm going to snag it this time, so I'm going to have a go. So, bear with me. Right, here we go, multiply cast. definitely can chuck, I can imagine you can chuck further with a multiply once you get the hang of it. This is obviously my first session doing it, so you'll see we progress as a go, but yeah, it's been a good session really. Although we've only had a fish each, it's been nice, it's been nice and chill. Um, it's a bit, just, just chilling really, to be honest with you. It is super, super windy as you can hear, I'm trying to guard it, I don't know how much, what the volume, the, the audio quality is going to be like, not very good I should imagine. Um, I've actually ordered a mic. Bluetooth mic. I did order one but it didn't work. I've had to order another one but yeah. Um, if I don't get any more fish, you, this will be the last thing. So thank you very much for watching. Um, it's been a learning curve for me. I hope you might have took something from it. If not, just a bit of laughter. Um, but yeah, happy days. Thank you again for watching everyone. It's going to be a lot more beach fishing and stuff coming up in the future. I'm going to be doing some pier fishing. It weren't the best idea to come out in this wind, but I do. I promise every single subscriber I'll put out a video at least once a week. So it is what it is. Sometimes I just gotta go and get out there. Water's coloured. Um, it is what it is. But yeah, happy days. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Don't forget to check out the social medias. Uh, Angling and anxiety, offering a 24 hours, 24/7 uh, help service just for anyone who's feeling low. Um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist, but. I've had a very roller coaster life, so I've been in a lot of bad situations myself. So, yeah, happy days. Much love, everyone. Thank you very much. Love yous.